please pretend like you're in a ninth grade Mississippi Studies class. We're switching gears. We were in third grade. <laughs> <laughs> and we have been talking about the Civil Rights Movement. So that's where we're going to start the lesson today. Um, Today we're going to talk about the Civil Rights Movement. We're going to continue in the lesson. And one of the things I want us to remember is that as we're talking about the Civil Rights Movement and reading primary sources from that time, we might read things that we don't agree with now that are kind of shocking, that may be offensive to us. And I want us to remember that these are hard topics to talk about, and but they're things that we need to work through um, so that we can understand sort of where we are today and where we want to go. So. You don't have to look at your right now. Thank you. Just hang on to it. Do you need one? Uh, if you have extra. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Can anybody tell me, has anybody ever heard of um, Emmett Till? Was he in the book 1984? Or no. One of those <laughs> books. <laughs> has anybody he ever heard of he was a little kid. Sort of. He was a little kid. He was 14. He was murdered. He was murdered. Does anybody else say anything about Emmett Till? Okay. Um, in 1955, you know, we've talked about in 1954. Does anybody know what happened in 1954 in civil rights? We've kind of talked about it a little bit. <laughs> a big civil rights case. Yes. Thank you, John. Brown versus Board of Education. Does anybody remember what that did, what that legislation did that we talked about? Got rid of exactly. So it was a move to desegregate public schools in the country. Um, and we've been talking a little bit about how that was received in Mississippi. Does anybody remember what Mississippians thought about that? Were they for it? No. Okay. That's something to remember. So right now we started talking about Brown versus Board of Education and how Mississippi right now is in a really volatile state. People are not agreeing with Brown versus Board of Education. They do not want to desegregate public schools and things are starting to heat up. So as we talk about Emmett Till, um, I want us to think about his his murder, as Maggie said, as a catalyst. Does anybody know what, does anybody know what catalyst means? As a jumping off point for the rest of the civil rights movement that we know of. Um, Emmett Till was 14. He was visiting family in Mississippi. Um, if you look on the map on the front page of your handout, he was in LaFleur County. I know we're not all from Mississippi, so that helps you visualize where exactly we're talking about. We're talking about in the Delta. Um, he was visiting family there, and it was his first time in Mississippi. He was not familiar with the things that we've talked about that go along with segregation, um, with sort of the invisible lines that existed between black and white communities. Um, and he supposedly, allegedly, whistled at a white woman um, in, a, in a grocery store with his friends. It was in a really small town in Money, Mississippi. Uh, later that night, he was dragged out of the home he was staying at, and he was murdered by the woman's husband and um, his brother-in-law. Um, it was a really vicious murder, and his body was dumped into a river. So no, these are scary things to talk about. Um, can anybody think about why um, murdering Emmett Till maybe would have changed things. Maybe it shocked people more than other murders. Yeah. Can you? Exactly. That's exactly it. This was a person who had come down who did not necessarily agree to live by the codes that other people were living by in the South um, and had violated these taboos. Um, another thing I want us to think about is that when Emmett Till, um, when his body was discovered, his mother allowed um, a magazine called Jet Magazine, it's a predominantly African-American magazine, to publish pictures of his body. So it really shocked the nation to see, physically see what happened to a child. This wasn't an adult who had gone down that could defend himself, this was a child. Um, so what we're gonna do today is think a little bit about how this probably made people feel in the country. What kind of reactions this sparked from people in the United States, from all over. So if you look on the second page of your packet, some of you have letters from Southerners at the top. How many of you have that? Raise your hand if you have letters from Southerners. Okay, you guys are a group. And if you have letters from the North, how many of you have that? Okay, so you guys are a group. So if y'all will separate into your groups right now, please. 
people across different states in the north. When you're looking at letters from the south, they may be from figures that we've talked about, like Medgar Evers, um, discussing their opinions. So quickly write down on your um, poster board three similarities or differences that you see um, between these letters. The words that are blocked out are words that today we don't say, um, but that in the 1950s people used them, um, but we don't say them, so we don't want to look at them because they are ugly words and they can also hurt people. From the letters y'all are reading, you can see that the men that committed the crime were acquitted. Okay. 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 Okay.